Hello everyone, welcome to 5 minutes practical programming tools. For this video, we continue to discuss about how to use MPI to write the parallel program. This is the third video for this topic. For previous videos, we have discussed some details about how to use MPI to create the mesh grid for parallel program. For this video, we start to solve a real problem. And our goal is to use MPI to solve the Poisson equation. For this video, we go through Poisson equation and its numerical method. Then we show how to use the theorem program to solve Poisson equation. Poisson equation is a fundamental and commonly used equation in engineering. If you understand the Poisson equation from the mathematical view, we will be more clear when we write the program to solve it. When we figure out how to write a serial program to solve it, we can then update it into a parallel version to improve the execution time to solve the equation. The left side is a Poisson equation, which is number square uxy equals to the bxy. The right side is a discretization of the 2D plan. If we assume every point represents a value for uxy, and the length of every cell is h, and the number square uxy can be described by this equation based on the differentiate operation. Every cell is subtracted four times by their neighbor cells. Then we can times h square and organize the equation into this form. This is a 4x4 grid mesh example. The discretization of the 2D Poisson equation becomes a form of the linear equations to this step. There are all kinds of numerical methods based on the iteration to solve the linear equations. Therefore, the underlying problem behind the original Poisson equation is actually to solve a linear system of equations. For example, if we use Jacobi method to solve linear equations, we just need to update the uxy for next step based on specific iteration equation and the value of uxy for this step. We list some references of solving the linear equations based on the numerical methods under this video. Let's look at a real example. If we assume uxy equals to sine pi times x times y, and fxy equals to negative number lab square of uxy, equals to pi squared times x squared plus y squared times sine pi times x times y. By this way, we can get a Poisson equation, and the sine pi times x times y is the analytical result of this Poisson equation. Although we can use random form of the Poisson equation, for example, let the right side equals to a random value, in order to check the results of the numerical value, we need to know the analytical results in advance. By comparing the numerical results with the analytical results, we can calculate the error of the numerical method to make sure if our program is correct. If we can get a correct program, then we can use it to calculate the random Poisson equation. Let's say how to write a serial program to solve the Poisson equation. The first step is to initiate the necessary data structures. For the example here, we use 2D array you knew to represent different values in the mesh. If the values are located at the boundary positions, they equals to fxy that we calculated by function above. For the value at the inner positions, they equals to zero. The next step is to do the iteration. For this example, if cells are located at the boundary positions, we can use fxy that we calculated before. But for other positions, we can use Jacobi method to update corresponding values. The last step is to check the results. We could compare the numerical values with the analytical values to see if our program generates correct values. We can check the whole program by this link. 
Basically, that's all for this video. If you are interested in this topic, please leave some comments or subscribe it. Thanks for your help. See you next time.